So Renee, she's my patient today. I'm going to ask you a few questions. Okay. So, uh, do you smoke at all? I do not. Okay. Do you drink alcohol? Socially. Oh, that's fun. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How about clenching or grinding your teeth? I do. Okay. So when you clench or grind your teeth, do you wear a night guard? Yes. Okay, perfect. So what I'm going to do is definitely check on inside your mouth to make sure you don't have those cheek bites yeah. because constant cheek biting can cause change in the tissue. Change in the tissue can cause uh, cancer in the future. Okay. But we always have to make sure that all the causes are taken away. So let's get started by doing the basics. I'm going to turn the lights on. I'll get some gloves on. She's got her protective glasses. Okay. okay. So all I'm going to start with her lips. Now she's got lipstick, so <laughs> pretty good. Nice color. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so I'll ask you to open your mouth for me, please. Brilliant. I'll spread everything. I start looking on the teeth area, the gums. Looks beautiful. Now stick your tongue out for me, please. Uh, <laughs> in a nice way. <laughs> okay. I take a little gauze to hold her tongue. Okay. Then I look at the side to make sure everything looks normal. Look over here. Looks beautiful. Oh, you got lovely teeth. <laughs> Thank you. Good. And then I do not see any cheek bites, which is beautiful. Then what I do is I'll say, stick your tongue out for me. And I'll say, say ah, ah, and go ah again. Ah. So with that, I'm looking at the back of the throat as well. I looked at the roof of your mouth, I looked at the floor of your mouth, and I pressed to make sure that I don't feel any lumps and bumps. And looks lovely. Thank okay. You. Now we're going to start with the Velscope. It does not take too long. It is $10 a year which is worth the, every penny because you're checking everything and making sure everything looks good and clear. Yes. So what it is, it's a fluorescent light that shines in the mouth. It penetrates through the tissues and it can show us any uh, abnormalities. If I see something dark, all I need to do is press the area just to make sure that it blanches. Blanches is good news. If it doesn't blanch, uh, we usually what we do is we take a picture of it and we send it to an oral surgeon and they let us know whether it needs to be biopsied or you know to, uh, checked further so let's get started okay. okay you've got your glasses on i don't need my glasses because i'm looking through the lights over here open for me please now it doesn't take too long it just makes a noise it blows a little bit of air and all i see is beautiful green light in her mouth uh, <laughs> <laughs> you stick your tongue on the roof of your mouth first, thank you. And this is a common area where you will see some dark shadows, but when I press on it, it is blanching, which is really good. Okay, now stick your tongue out all the way, and I'll press on it and say, ah, ah, one say, ah, okay, brilliant. Look at the side of your tongue, stick your tongue out, right again, yeah. There you go. All done. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, I will definitely show some pictures of what an abnormal area looks like, but that's it. Voila. Thank you, Dr. Sharma, for the oral cancer screening. I feel relieved that it was negative. Uh, what, what age should we start doing this? Well, uh, the age is usually because now teens are sexually active and because of the HPV virus, um, I would say you even start as low as 13, but 16 and above okay. is uh, a wonderful age. Have you ever found oral cancer during your Oh, yes. Oh, yes. yes. Uh, my previous job, we had a patient walk in and she ate something and she said it, it felt a bit funny under her tongue. When I looked in there, it was way beyond. Oh. I could. I looked at the velscope, it was fiery red. It was terrible. We rushed her to the oral surgeon. The oral surgeon rushed her to OU of M. It was that bad. So that's why it's important. Very important. Have them I, I have a history in my own family. Uh, my aunt, uh, she used to chew tobacco, and uh, she did complain to me once that since I was in dental school, she said that she had an ulcer. Um, I checked on it, it looked a bit funny. I told her to get it checked with her dentist. The dentist said, oh, don't worry about it, oh. it's healing, it'll heal. But it kept growing, growing, and he kept saying, it'll heal, it'll heal. So then she ignored it 
till it was stage three oral cancer. Oh wow. Um, she had to get her tongue removed, her upper jaw, lower jaw, she was very disfigured. Um, they, they thought they got it off, they got her lymph nodes off, uh, but you know, sadly it came back again and she died. Oh, no. My uh, friend's mother, same thing, she had an ill-fitting partial, kept causing trauma to the tongue, then it started a tongue cancer, it went to the floor of the mouth, to the lymph nodes, and she died. So people, it's very, very, very important to get an oral cancer screening done. I mean, a lot of times you think you don't have it. Um, I have a lot of patients that say, no, I don't want to do the Velscope today, but it is important. Just for peace of mind, yes. do it. So make sure that you and your friends and family are getting an oral cancer screening every six months and using the Velscope once a year. Yeah. Well, if your dentist does not have one of the Velscopes, you're more than welcome to come to our office at Provident Dentistry and we will screen you. Hopefully this segment was informative and as always, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. We would be glad to help. Bye-bye.